Where's this thing start, fellas? What's that? Where does this thing start? Just wandering around? Yeah. Oh, I see my brother-in-law down there, yeah. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Is Rachel here? She is. She's over there. She's over in that little booth over there. Is she? How are you doing, John? Pretty good. Uh, I thought I'd surprise her. Yeah, I you going to. I'll go over and do a little interview with her. Okay. For my Facebook television show. <laughs> Amy's mom's here. Oh, is she? Oh, Miss Banyette. Bless your heart. Miss Banyette. Hi, Johnny Stevenson. I know. <laughs> I got video of you dancing. <laughs> I hope I had my clothes. Yes, you did. You did beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to go. Nice to see you. Now I'm gonna. I'll try to get a little interview with Rachel. Now say hello to your sister here. Hello, June. How you doing today? <laughs> well, she's she's pretty sad today, to be honest with you. Two of our cats have died in the last three weeks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we had to have them put down, and it's really devastating to us because we loved them dearly. You know, oh, yeah. two of the cats, and we had them 12 years. Oh. Plus, she's been fighting the Crohn's disease too. Internal problems, keep you know. Her in my prayers oh and, yeah, you know, keep her in your prayers. And really, yeah, me too. I miss them myself. But I'm, I, Amy sent me a invitation to come out here, so I thought, well, I told June I left church, and I said, I'm going to try to drive out there. I'd have been here at one o'clock, but we had a big traffic jam on 275, and I sat there for an hour and ten minutes. No, uh -uh. no. Well, I'll walk on down here. Here. Yeah, I'll come up here and sit somewhere. Yeah. You gonna be around here for a while? For a little bit, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Let me get a little. Let me, let me get a little picture of you. I'm good. I think Joel's <laughs> down here too. I gotta watch myself. Uh, you know what may, might be wise? You wouldn't want to go up to the van up there and get my walker, would you? Where is it? Out of Where's the back you? end. Hang on just a second, let me shut this down for a second. I have to take my glasses off, I guess. I just have my eyes operated on. And uh, sometimes I can see pretty well, but sometimes I can't yet. Thank goodness, Ken's gonna go up there and get my walker for me. Beautiful place. Now, are you working here today, young lady? I'm a volunteer, yeah. Oh, you're well, fantastic. You don't mind being on the television no. show, then, do you? No. <laughs> Travels with the Stevensons. Hello. I'm Rachel's uncle. Okay, what's your name? Johnny Stevenson. Johnny. Used Maggie. to be. Maggie, nice, nice to meet you. Me. Yeah, I used to be superintendent of education for the state of Kentucky. What's that? Used to be superintendent of education oh, for, really? the, for the state for of Kentucky. The state of Kentucky. Nice to be here with you. Yeah. I'm going to go over and get a little interview with with uh, Rachel. Get my walker for me, praise the Lord. <laughs> That'll make it a little easier for me, to be honest with you. I got it there now. Put those back away. 
It's a little, it's a little hard for me to get out of there by myself. Yeah. Out of the back end. Now I'll walk on over and get an interview with Rachel. Think she'll be up to an interview? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tell him I want to see him before he gets away, though. Yeah, he, you know he moved out this way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so you're all getting out there on the gallery. <laughs> Come on, the guy angle. The guy angle. <laughs> Rachel, me, and Joel. That's right. Hi there, ladies. How y'all doing? Hello, how are you doing? I don't want to interrupt, but I wanted to do just a little interview with you here about your booth and about the, okay. your stuff. Now, step right over here. Can you hear me? Will you be able to hear me? Oh, yeah. I'll hear you real good. Now, Rachel, yes, tell hi. me all about the booth here. Yes. So we're here at the Spring into Health and Wellness event, uh, which Garden of Eden is putting on. We have all of these local... Um, vendors that are passionate about holistic health, natural products, and even eco-friendly living. So here I have my Garden of Eden uh, booth here. We sell our elderberry syrup, wild cider, wild crafted teas. Um, and we're just loving the weather. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the weather is beautiful. Now, tell me about the products you've got here. How did you develop this? Yeah, so um, at my farm in Alexandria, we grow everything chemical-free. We forage stuff locally in the greater Cincinnati area, um, and then all the other herbs that we can't grow locally are uh, sourced organically. So everything is produced at the Incubator Kitchen Collective in Newport, uh, which is a shared uh, commercial kitchen space. Um, but yeah, we are passionate about bringing local health, healthy herbs grown without chemicals. Now, what do you have in particular? Do you have anything in particular that's good for someone with diabetes? I would have to say no. We don't do any, you know, we don't diagnose, cure, treat anything. Herbs are meant are just meant to help balance the body. Anything um, with low sugar or? No, we have, uh, most of our products are full honey. Is, are they? Okay. Honey, honey products. Honey products, yeah. okay. And um, uh, what's a sample of what you've got there that I could take home to Miss June? Oh, yeah. I'll buy it, but just let me. I know Miss June. She loves tea. So. Yes, uh-huh. 
that her home was on too. I think she'll love this one. It's our rose petal tulsi. It's so floral and aromatic and delicious. I know she'll love it. Fantastic. Now, how much is that? This will be $12. $12. Let me put that in my pocket. And uh, I'll get out the 12 for you here in a second. Okay, thank you. After I finish doing the interview here. <laughs> the, uh, uh, now, I saw Ken over there. He helped get my walker out okay. for me. Okay, yep. And, uh, family support. Yep, family support. Well, I just had both eyes operated on, so oh, yeah. they had the cataracts removed. And oh, I got a man. boot on my left foot from cellulitis from the diabetes. But I, I thought, well, I'd come out here and see what all they had out here. Yeah. Particularly since you... Have worked so hard to put this yes, together. Thank called, you. You uh, have to take a look and check out all of the Eden. vendors. Yep, yep. Garden of Eden. Yeah. And uh, I've been reading about it in the Facebook and on yeah. YouTube. We'll yeah. put this on YouTube also. Yeah. Help spread the word. Yes. Now, if people needed to contact you, yep, they can find us through our website, which is gardenofeden.com. It's G A R D E N of O F E T N E T E N dot com. You can find us on social media, which is Garden of Eden. Um, we'll be happy to help you. Fantastic. Now, will you do this for me? Yes. Real slow, just take the camera, it's already running, and walk over there and take close, get, get, get some close ups of the video of the thing. Thank you very yeah, much. Well, thank you so much for coming. Oh, Hope glad to you. glad to be here with you. Now, anything you want to say to Miss June? I love you. Enjoy your tea. She'll enjoy it. Now, hang on just a second. <laughs> now, this happens to be Joel and Ken Diamond, and Joel's uh, uh, Ken's son, Joel. And Joel has a wife. Is your wife here? She's not. She's at home with the kids. Uh, well, that's. A, Miss June's home with the kids too. The one, the one that's left, poor little uh, Josie, the cat. We lost uh, Queen Elizabeth and and uh, uh, Zacchaeus, the cat, this last two or three weeks. Lost two of them. So keep her, keep Miss June in your prayers. And uh, nice to be here with you. This is a great, she's got a great booth here. Yeah, it's a great, a great turnout. Good natural stuff. On there. Yeah, a lot of natural stuff and. Out, out here in Guyman territory. That's right. <laughs> in the guy, it's in the guy angle. In the guy angle. <laughs> Joe, now what are you up to? What am I not up to? I got so much going on right now. I got two kiddos. Both around two or under two. Oh, boy. We just moved two months ago. So yeah. still moving. Now, you're uh, over in Kenton County now, aren't you? No, we actually live about three minutes. Oh, yeah, that's right. You, you moved over here. Yeah. It was... Uh, I guess Jason that moved over to Kenton. He did. Yeah, he did. Traded, tra a trader. <laughs> That's right, trader, exactly. So he moved, but yeah, just settling into the new house. And this uh, this morning we actually opened our pool. Oh, wonderful. Which was a bit of an experience. I've, I've never had a pool. Katie never had a pool. So she had a family member come over and got that up and running. So Well, good. I thought she where I'm headed after here is to get some uh, chemicals to get it running. Good, good, Even good. Well, nice to see you here, and uh, I'll tell Miss June you said hello. You got any words of wisdom for her? For Aunt June? Yeah. I would say just take the time to get outside and, and breathe the fresh air, and when you can, just reflect on life and be grateful. And praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There you go. That's right. Well, God bless you, and thank you so much. Nice to have you on a little interview here with Travels with the Stevens. Hey, that was fun. Let me grab a little picture here, too. Okay, got gotcha. you. As long as I get a hug, too. Oh, absolutely. I gotta get one more hug. I love you. We're gonna be here for the next, uh, you know, half hour, hour. I actually had to go back and sub out Katie because she's home with the kids, so I'm gonna go home and. Uh, get the kids so she can come here. Oh, so I'm actually good. headed out now so she can yeah, come here. I'll be, probably be here. Okay. I'm going to be leaving in probably five minutes or so. Okay. I'm going to take gonna, this back and I'm then... I'm going to film some of the other booze. Okay. Sounds great. Well, thank, thank you. It's great you. seeing you. Take care. Nice to see you thank too. You. Thank you. From the house. Now you go ahead. You're the customer, ma'am. I'm just a videographer. How are you doing today? You won't be here too? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> How are you doing today, ma'am? Good. Okay. So I'm Coach V. 
And as you can see on my tablecloth there, I created the mental health and sexy grid. And the reason why I did that is because when we think about something being sexy, it's usually a spouse, a car, a credit score, a house, a job. I think mental health should be up there also. It's time for it to stop being such a taboo conversation. So I personally, some years ago, was experiencing manic depression, and I did try the medication route, the therapist route, but that didn't work for me. So after I healed myself by using alternative therapies, I wrote a book last year sharing the eight steps that I used to beat manic depression without medication. And let me be clear, I'm not against medication. I just teach people and empower them that if they are experiencing depression from trauma, ways that they can heal from that trauma and also transform their harmful thoughts into healthy thoughts. So it's a self-help book that has a workbook inside. So at the end of each chapter, there's an exercise for the reader to complete. Because I don't want people just to read and be like, oh, that was a good book. No, I want you to actually implement what you've read. The books are $15 today. And since everything I do is holistic, one of the things I teach my clients is how to meditate. If you think about it, the biggest complaint people have about meditation is being able to focus. So for that reason, I make 100% soy candles to help them focus while they meditate, but I focus on three areas. The area that we have here today is self-love. Because a lot of time when people are experiencing symptoms of mental illness, some type of trauma has happened to them that they decrease their self-love. So if I can teach people how to increase that and forgive themselves, they're able to better extend love to other people, right? So I offer two things. I have a service-based business where I do, I get one as well. Well, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do workshops, and I'm also a national speaker. And then I also have a lifestyle brand, which is the products that you see here. We also have t-shirts, exercise gear, long t-shirts that can be put like with leggings or something um, that help spread countertops, that help spread our message that mental health is sexy. So we're actually here today to, again to spread our message and to let people know. It's not cool just to talk about mental health in May. Like we're in now Mental Health Awareness Month. We do this all day, all year. Raise mental health awareness. Well, that's beautiful. And as, and as someone who used to be chairman of the Mental Health Association for all of Northern Kentucky. Wow. And was on the board of directors for nine years. You've got some very good advice there. I, I appreciate it. And I also used to be superintendent of education for the whole state of Kentucky. Really? So, okay. I, I look forward to showing this on YouTube and on Facebook. And make sure you have one of these. I'll get Thank your you. cards. We are on nice YouTube to meet you, well. ladies. Thank you for stopping by, ladies. We are on YouTube as well, at, uh, uh, Coach BMP. The link is on our website. Now, what's now, this card over here? So this card is dealing with, so that card has my service, my services, and this one shows some of my products. Okay. So everything you see here on the table, my lifestyle brand, but then I also have masks. Uh, phone cases, hoodies, all, mugs, all those on the website. Well. Now, who are these young ladies back here? So this is me familiar. These are my daughters. Are y'all? This is Anna. Yeah. Nene. Okay. Abby Cakes. No, I'll just call her Abby Cakes. Abby. And just remember, <laughs> everybody loves somebody sometime. Makes no difference when, or where, or how. Everybody loves somebody sometime, and it's your time <laughs> right now. <laughs> God bless you. Can you take our pictures? You get them. <laughs>